Hey everyone, this is Lori, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about some different items that you could purchase for very reasonable, almost ridiculously low prices at yard sales, uh, garage sales, thrift stores, Goodwills, um, estate sales, and things like that. And you can turn around and you can purchase these at really low prices and then flip them for a decent profit. So, vintage video games. Um, these are really popular. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Nintendo systems. I'm really kicking myself because I took a uh, a really nice Nintendo uh, game, game console and just gave it away to Goodwill one time without really thinking about it and I could have sold it for money but um, at the time I just I didn't realize it so vintage video games trading cards especially the ones that are you know have really uh, are in really good shape um, and you can easily you know if you have a phone when you find a trading card you can easily look online like on eBay and see what they go for on eBay and then see if it's worth even buying them tools of any kind are very popular to sell or buy and sell for a profit Musical instruments are very popular. Um, over the years, I've sold two guitars and made a pretty decent uh, profit on those sales. Electronics, I've sold a lot of different electronics over the years and made a decent return. Vacuum cleaners, those are another good one that you could you could buy at uh, you know just all these different places I just mentioned: the garage sales, estate sales, Goodwill, thrift stores. Um, and then turn around and sell them for a profit. Bicycles, Blu-ray, Blu-rays and DVDs, and another one that's really popular to buy at. There's actually okay the trading cards, sports equipment is very popular. A lot of people when they're selling this stuff at garage sales and estate sales, they want to get rid of it. That's the whole point of putting it out, is they want to get rid of it. They ha no longer have any use for it. And they'll usually take what they can get. So whenever you go to these places, you know, offer them a little bit lower, you know, and see if they're willing to negotiate. Most places will negotiate. Now, at thrift stores and Goodwill and stuff like that, they usually have a set price. But state sales, garage sales, yard sales, uh, marketplaces on, like, Facebook, in places like that, they're usually um, willing to negotiate. CDs and books. Sport. Okay, so that's 10 from there. And then there's another one um, that I found with some really good suggestions. Solid wood furniture is another one. You want to buy smaller items that are easy to transport. Hopefully they're not too damaged. If you if they do have damage, you can either you know repair them yourself, or if you know someone that can help you, or you could sell them as is. But those are usually good to flip for a pro, uh, profit. Name brand clothing. Uh, a lot of people in wealthy areas, they have garage sales, they have estate sales, they get to Goodwill, thrift stores, and things like that, and they have some really nice clothing name brand clothing, and other items that they're willing to give away. You can buy those really cheap, turn around, and flip them. Vintage clothing. Um, if you have anything or if you see anything from back, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, uh, even 80 years ago, you could also turn around and flip that as well. Okay, and here's an example. Um, Someone paid two ninety nine for a nineties era Levi's denim cap in mint condition. They listed it online and it sold for one hundred and five dollars. That is one heck of a profit. That's awesome. Retro bar sets is another one. Cocktail shakers, tumblers, swizzle sticks, ice buckets, related items appeal to the hip and, and well heeled everywhere. Um, so recently, uh, a nineteen sixty set of six low ball. Glasses with matching decanter sold on eBay, eBay for $69. Power tools. These are really popular. And again, here's another example. Um, bought a gas power generator for $40 at a yard sale. 
sold it for 125 That's a good profit as well. Old canning jars, I never really thought about this, but if people who are into canning and they want all kinds of different uh, canning items, they would be willing to pay, you know, for this vintage canning uh, supplies and equipment. Mid-century anything, anything from the 50s and 60s, and even, you know, before that, uh, you could, let's see, a wall, a wall clock, a poorly attended auction. Okay. Um, auctions, that's another place you can go to. Uh, they sold it on eBay for 70 bucks. They only paid a dollar for it. So auctions is another place you can go to. Basic law and tools. <coughs> I've sold a lot of different, uh, I've sold lawnmowers, blowers, things like that. These go like crazy. And uh, other small things like uh, weed eaters and clipping some kind of cutters, uh, shovels, things like that, that people just want, you know, to get and have around and they don't want to go and pay retail price. Bicycles is another one that's very popular to sell. Vintage lawn furniture, um, and it doesn't have to be vintage. I had a uh, lawn set, had a table and chairs and an umbrella that I was no longer using. I turned around, I, I listed it on one day and it sold within a couple of hours. So lawn furniture is very popular. It doesn't just have to be vintage. It could be any year because it's uh, those those types of things are in demand. And they're, you, they people know that if they buy unused, they're usually in good shape. And at, if they buy them new, they're usually four to $600 for a nice lawn set, depending on how many pieces you get. So that's a lot of different items. Gives you some ideas of what you can look for at uh, different places. And I'll put the places that you can list or that you can find this stuff at, as well as the different items in the list in the description of this video. So you will have it right there in front of you. So thanks for watching. Good luck. And please like, subscribe, and share.